go through the Smithsonian. George? What? Yes, sneakers. Really? What? You're funny. I don't know what you're talking about. You want to have sex? Well, it's our anniversary, you know. I, I thought that was pretty good after 10 years. That you want to have sex? No, that I think you're incredibly stunning. And yes, that I want to have sex a little bit. More endearing to me would be leaving on time, okay? Look, I gave the town to Henderson, all right? That cut my workload in half. I thought you said Henderson is slow. No, no, I said that he was a savant. That's very different than slow. And now it's almost dark, and it's five hours drive to DC, and Alex isn't feeling well. What's wrong with Alex? I don't know, it's just a little bit of a cold. I just don't want him to stay up too late in the car. Well, we're gonna leave in 10 minutes, and you can listen to that lovely country music station that you like so much all the way there. Alex, are you packed? Like yesterday. Are you okay? What's the matter? Yeah, it's just a cold. All right, well, stupid colds can turn into stupid viruses, so take care Don't of it. Don't scare him, George. What? Come on, Dad, let's go. You know that it's still really light outside. Well, I know, we're gonna go look at very bright stars. He needs to put on a coat, okay? And we're leaving in 10 minutes. Okay, okay. can't see anything. It's too bright outside. Well, keep looking. You're gonna find it. Objects move, even if they're thousands of light years away. I still can't see it. <coughs> you okay? Yeah. You still wanna go to DC? Dad, you promise. Oh, I know, I know. Can you keep a secret? No. Well, you better try on this one. Look at that, 10 years ago. I asked your mother to marry me on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial in D.C. I thought maybe I'd do it again on our anniversary night. You had to do that? Yeah, I can do that, and you can be my best man. Really? Yes, but you can't tell Mom, okay? Okay. Deal? Deal. Deal? Yeah. Is there some kind of conspiracy going on here? No. Nope. Come on, you two. It's a five-hour drive. And George, I told you to put a coat on him. His... This cough is sounding worse and worse. Coats are no protection against the cold virus, Mom. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Two of you. I don't know where he gets it. Obviously, he's a genius. I must come from your side of the family. Obviously. Come on, Wrangler. Let's go. Let's see you inside, OK? OK, man. Wow. I see it. I see it. It looks like a comet. Well, Mars shouldn't look like a comet. Well, this one does. Let me see. Yeah, that's not a planet. Come on. George, George, no, 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 no. No, 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 no it's just my work. It's okay. our 10th year anniversary. No, 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 no. Please. Hello? Alex? Dr. Newoff, hi. Was that unbelievable? No, 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 I caught, I caught it in my son's reflector. Where are you going? DC. No, no, not, not you. Uh, I will meet you there. Go I'm on. going tonight, okay? Uh, thank you. Honey, listen, we can go in the morning. Look, if, if it wasn't important, he wouldn't have called. Yeah, sure, it's very important. It's the end of the world, whatever. Alex, let's go! You know, I, I really don't want you to drive around. Sweet. Write that in our anniversary card. Okay. Damn it. My cell phone. Am I ever going to see you again? Of course you are. Tomorrow morning at the Smithsonian. Do I still have to be your best man? Yes. You have to take care of this for me. It's part of the best man duties. I love you, Daddy. I love you too, buddy. I'll call you when I get there, okay? Look, I didn't do this on purpose. 
You made your choice. I don't love my work more than you guys. Yeah, of course not. It's ginormous. So, it's an asteroid, right? Have you ever seen like this? Maybe. I mean, the size, the mass, there should have been much more destruction. Mine's dead too, and so's my car. Yours? It smells like ass. It's been a massive surge of electromagnetic interference for everything to shut down. Okay, just just calm down. Um, the police will be here in just a moment. No, you have to get him out of there. Okay, please. Listen, listen. The authorities will be here in a moment. We don't know what's down there, okay? <gasps> My boyfriend's down there. Audrey, there's something else down here. What is he talking about? What's his name? Max. Max! Hey, who's that? Max, if you can hear me, uh, just, just try to follow our voices, okay? Is that the cops? What is that humming sound? Audrey, get me out of here now! Grab my hand! Max! Grab my hand! Max, get out of there! Max, right here! Hey, I think there's something down here. Max, I'm right here. Max! I'm right here, Max. Max! Please, listen to my voice. We're trying to get you out of here. I Max, know. listen to me. Just follow my voice. Max, are you okay? Are you hurt? Can you hear me? Max! All right, Max, you gotta get out of there, okay? Come on. Max, follow my voice and get out of there now. Max! Audrey? Audrey? Hey! Max, listen up! Uh, meteors! Just, just come to the I edge, okay? Them, and just, I think it's like a bomb. Just, just listen to our voices and keep following them! What, what the hell is that? Max! Jesus Christ! Get out of there! Max, give me your hands! Give me get me your hands! Get me out of here! That's it! Well, God, get me the hell out of here! Come on, come on!
Hello? 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 George? F Felicity! George, are you okay? Hey! I can't hear you. The line... Listen, listen to me. Don't, don't come home. George, but I... No, no, stay, stay there. Stay in Washington. It's not safe. Are you sure? George, are you... No, I'm gonna come there. Are you okay? I'm coming to get you, okay? What's going on? I will meet you at the steps of the Lincoln Memorial. George? The, the Lincoln Memorial! Sean. Hey. Hey. Are you leaving? No, I'm packing. I'm waiting for Carol. Where's Felicity and Alex? Oh, they're safe. They're up in D.C. Um, does your car work? I don't know. I hope so. What the hell was that, man? My whole house shut down. The power goes on and off. Television, microwaves, everything. It's like hey, look, the one thing I do know is you got to get the hell out of here, okay? Well, where are you heading? I'm, I'm off to Hopewell. Oh, to see your brother? Yeah. I'm hoping he can get me up to D.C. Well, if a ranger can't push you through to D.C., I don't know who can. Exactly. You better get out of here. I gotta wait for Carol. She's out with the girls tonight, and her goddamn cell phone isn't working. Well, if there's a surge, keep trying. I'm sure, I'm sure you'll get a hold of her, okay? All right, man. You should go. All right, Sean. Take it easy, Sean. Yeah, you too. You gotta go. You gotta go. You gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Can't get across. Gotta go. Gotta go. We can't cross. Everything's closed. How about 85? Is that probably right? everything's closed right now? All right, just to stay home. Okay. Yeah. I got a brother up at home. No one's going on that bridge today. All right. Best just to go home. All right. Hey. Hey. The bridge is out. About a quarter mile down. Over 100 people fell in, I heard. <coughs> Cheyenne, stop fussing. <coughs> We're going west to the 40. We're gonna walk our way to Tennessee. I got a cousin in Knoxville. You could join us if you'd like. Thank you, but I've, I've got family at Hopewell and I'm trying to get to DC. DC? <coughs> I hear the terrace got them first. Terrace? Uh, DC, New York, LA, all hit, all messed up. It's what I heard from the military around here. My buddy. I also hear that the state's declaring martial law today. Soon we just have to stay at home and be goddamn sitting ducks. That's why I'm trying to get the hell out of here and see my cousin.
Yes. Who are you? Hey. Who are you? Hey. Um, I'm, I'm Dr. George Herbert. Your doctor? I need a, do I need a doctor. Actually, I, I'm an astronomer, but I can help you. Are you hurt? No. Maybe, I don't know. You alone? Yeah, I'm alone. I mean, I, I came to, to sleep in this, this thing, but it was locked. You could just put the gun down. Get over there, grab a side on my count. <coughs> Three, two, one. Enough for the science, guys. I can't believe I spent all night outside. <sighs> ah, I need to rest. Are you okay? Oh, man. Yeah. He said you needed a doctor. Just messed up, that's all. Been non stop phone for 48 hours. <sighs> Where are you from? Greensboro. That got hit too? Yeah, the day before yesterday. Family? I got a wife and a son, but they're up in Washington. I was supposed to meet them there, but got called into work. Anything hit up there? Three. 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 You really a space guy? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, you got any theories as to what the hell these things are? Not that I want to say out loud. What is it? Time to go. What are you hope for? What the hell's in hope about? My brother. You might like him, he's an X-Ranger. X-Ranger? No such thing. Good, we need all the help we can get. Go. I was standing flank when the CO had us engaged in the first wave. Those things, man, they just swat us off the face of the earth like we were flies. Zap, one lousy zap. Didn't see this in the army brochure. Managed to jump in a ditch. It's a biowarfare, man. I mean, I've seen things. I've seen biowarfare before, but breakfast. Huh. Eat it. Eat it. Could be the last meal for a long time. Time to leave. <clears throat> you 
hear that? I don't hear anything. <laughs> Me neither. Not a bird, not a bug, not a dog. It's weird, back in Iowa during the corn crops, couldn't hear yourself think with all them June bugs yapping at each other. Our battalion was wiped out. We're headed to Fort Lee. To Fort Lee's been destroyed, soldier. Fort Myers is the new command center. It's about 200 clicks east of here. You'll need to go there and register. Register? Yeah, you know, head count, that kind of thing. Government bureaucratic bullshit. Under whose order, sir? sir? Under the orders of do what I say or you're gonna get your ass kicked, soldier. Did you ask him about DC? Eddie's. Who's your little girlfriend here? It's George Herbert, sir. Civilian? He's a scientist, an astronomer. Stars, huh? It's interesting. How's your chemistry background? Well, I studied astrophysics, but I'm not. Aha! That's what I'm talking about. That could be useful. I'm just trying to find out if there were any survivors in DC. No survivors. Everything's been wiped out. The president, senators, generals, even the little fucking dish boy at the Denny's down in the mall. Gone. George has family in DC, sir. Really? That's sweet. I had family too. Lived on a commune with 54 other hippie dyke commie sons of bitches. Near the Blue Ridge Mountains. Wiped out. All gone. Now don't let these aliens push you into weakness. Need to buck up, soldier, and be strong. Strong enough to fight back. So why don't you regroup and join me, huh? Because I need men. And scientists. We're just trying to get to Hopewell. Sir, his brother's a ranger. You ass clowns just don't get it, do you? You won't last another day out there on your own. We will find your corpses in a ditch. You know what? Why don't you get your useless coward asses out of here and go to your deaths just like everyone else? You men aren't brave enough for my army. You're just gonna drag us down and get us killed. You disgust me. All right, ladies. Get your dick skinners out of your pockets. We're going. kind of creepy. Because they don't know anything. But no communication working. Um, do you have any Oscillococcinum or Ocelo? Brianna, anything like that? Brianna, anything like that? Pharmacy's about three blocks that way. Um, are you evacuating soon? Maybe. Nobody seems to be in much of a hurry around here. Don't look that way. Is that all? Yeah. Aren't you afraid? Afraid of what? Heard it was in terrorists. Heard it was creatures from under the earth. Heard it was the military screwing around with chemicals. Nobody knows what's going on. Too much nonsense to be worrying about the inevitable. You good?
That's your wife? She came to the States on vacation with some girlfriends and never went home. Where'd you meet her? Standing in line at the Star Trek exhibit at the Smithsonian. You are a science geek. That's right. Funny thing is, it was the best day of my life. You got kids? And hey, you're a little boy named Wrangler. Wrangler? Yeah. Kids gonna have scars, man. Yeah, it's just a nickname. Nickname for what? He wants to be an astronomer. It was Galileo's nickname. Galileo he was an astronomer like 500 years ago. I know who Galileo was. Oh, good. Directions to Hopewell. Looks like we're getting close. Hopefully we'll see your brother there. Army Ranger. <clears throat> now I want to be a Ranger. Couldn't go that far. Those guys are crazy, man. I mean, fucking insane. Macho shit. Loopy. But if you're fighting, that's who I want to be next to. Let's go. Look at all this. It all looks homemade. Oh man, these guys are scraping. I wonder if there's any top command left. Let's go, let's go. This way. We gotta get to my brother. We gotta go. I gotta go to my brothers. He's not gonna be there. I gotta go to George. my brothers. He's not gonna be there. Hey, can you sit up? <laughs> I think I got my legs on. Here, get this off. Oh, God. Get that off him. Get it off him. Fuck me from there. Come oh. on. <laughs> How's Wrangler? How's he doing? It's good. Wrangler's good. It's good. It's good. Yeah. Here's the kick. You know that? Who's your friend, huh? Sergeant Kerry Williams, sir. Get this, get this, get this off him, man. Just pull it off of him. Oh, oh God. Oh, God. George, you look like you're gonna be over. Come here. Come here. Oh, God, man. Come here. Come here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know? Give me that, give me that flask. Hey. Hey, relax. Look at him. Look away. It's my godson, you know? He's in the dirt. Yeah. Oh. Fucking time goes, huh? Like this. Yeah. Listen to me, okay? Stop. Stop. 
Stop. Listen. I'm okay. I'm in my babies. Okay. I want to tell you something. I'm sorry to didn't make it laugh. Okay. I want you to know. It's okay. I'm really proud of you. Okay. You raised You raised me really good. Matt! Matt! George is gone. We gotta move. Matt! Come on, man. We gotta move. Come on. Master. You can call me Victor. <coughs> you have a fever. You need to rest.
If you keep this lid all night, they're gonna see us. You need your warmth. I'm George. They took away the horizon, George. Where are we? Just north of Charles. It's getting late. The demons seem to come out at night. I've seen them during the day. Looking better. How are you feeling? I'm gonna make it. So who are Alex and Felicity? You're calling their names out in your sleep. That's my family. I have to get to DC. There's a refuge in the Blue Ridge Mountains, just north of Glow. George, your family is safe. DC wasn't hit? I don't know that there are many of these demons out there. It's just, all true believers are safe. Do you understand what I'm saying, George? Are you headed to Blue Ridge? I'll go where I'm needed. You want to walk with me to DC? If that is where God needs me. I was in my den watching the Simpsons when the first demons came. Guilty pleasure. I tend to work at night, so TV's not really an option. Uh, where I'm from, a small town in Australia, we don't really have television. So I often find myself drawn to it. I was in Australia once. I went to a symposium at the observatory in Sydney. You ever been there? Afraid I'm not much of a stargazer. Although I do find myself fascinated with the greatness of the universe. That's why I am what I am, I guess. We sort of started out in the same place then, didn't we? You're a religious man, George. Is it God's will to kill so many people? I don't always understand God's ways, but I trust in him, and that is the essence of faith. God rewards the faithful, George. He doesn't punish them. Let's cut over this hill. It'll save us half a day. We rebuilt the Church of Our Savior three summers ago. Now, gone, swept away. Does that mean God hates churches? No. Are the parishioners that have died? Does God hate them? No. They're in a better place now. We shall see each other soon. I just want to see my family again. You will. People of faith will all be together soon. In death. George, have you heard of the rapture? Elderflower, picumeric acid, antioxidant, antiperoxidant. It'll bring down your fever. The flower? Mm-hmm. Have some. No, no, not that. That's belladonna berry. That's poisonous. How can you tell the difference? Well, color, mainly. A little bit of texture, but taste it. You'll see. So is that what you do? You're a botanist? No. But I have to interact with chemicals in my work. Compounds and things. What's that sound?
Maybe we should go see if she needs anything. She's one of my congregants. Rebecca. Rebecca, honey. It's, it's your pastor. <laughs> Rebecca, it's Victor. 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 Where are your children, Rebecca? Where are Ethan, Mary, and Kate? <laughs> you join him. We spoke about taking comfort in his words. At times like this... Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Rebecca, do not let these demons take your heart. These demons! Which demons? Your demons? God's demons? I don't... I don't want to hear about his mercy, his goddamn will, or his fucking plan. He is not the god of love and understanding. He is the god of death. Rebecca. He is soulless, without redemption, a fucking criminal who rapes an old lady. Has more heart and compassion than your child murderer. You're God. You're fucking numb, blind, evil God. Rebecca, these are the precisely the times you need to take solace. In. I don't need the Lord. I don't need your preaching or any of your bullshit. Rebecca, please. What? Did my four-year-old do to your God? That was worth it. Life. Tell me, Pastor, what did he do? I watched him with my own eyes. I heard them screaming and I couldn't reach them. This is part of God's plan. And I hate God. I hate you and all your stupid stuff. You want some of this? Oh, my God. 
You know that, don't you? This is his will. This is, this is the rapture. He will reward the faith. Victor, we gotta go. Victor, get up here! Victor, now! Look! Look at this. I have a kid I haven't seen in years. Not since I moved to the States. My first wife took him when he was three. He lives. Lived. He lives in Goldburn. I ran. I ran when those things came towards me. They would have killed you. What if that's not what God wanted? God wants you to live. You don't know that. How could you know that? started learning about the sky. My father used to lay me down with my head pointed north. He'd hold out a map of the constellations and we would just sit there for hours staring at them. No stars tonight. How long before we get to DC? I'm hungry. What? I'm hungry. Yeah, I know. I'm hungry. I want to check and see if they have anything to eat in here. Look, a doctor. I'll get some supplies.
George. Go to the house! Victor! Victor! We gotta go. What's up? We gotta go upstairs now! What? Now! They out there? No. It's that toxic gas. Raby shots. That'll help. Oh, Lord. Take us now. Oh, God. Ah. Here. Here, use this. Are they out there? They're leaving. And we should, too. Let's go. What? What's the matter? Are you hurt somewhere else? Not like you mean. Victor, come on, let's get out of here now. Why does God keep testing our faith? It's like he's taken the chosen few and left that behind. Is that possible? Has he forgotten us? Pastor. Let's go. Follow my lead. This isn't the resurrection. some breakfast. Thanks. Yeah. How do you know she didn't go home? What? Your wife. 
But if she's still alive, how do you know she didn't go home instead of waiting for you at the DC steps? Physics. Physics? Yeah. Two objects randomly moving in space have a higher chance of intersecting if one of them stands still. We use that logic all the time when we're at the mall with Wrangler. So it's not faith? I don't know. Faith that she got the call. Faith that she remembers. Faith that she knows who I am. So I suppose it's a bit of both. George? Honey, what's wrong? George, what's wrong? God. Oh, kiss me, honey. Please kiss me. No. Please kiss me. Oh. Honey, what's wrong? Kiss me, George. Please kiss me. Scared, George. Me too. Not of this. I'm scared for my soul. I've devoted my entire life to him. I don't deserve this. Victor, please. I have a migraine, my shoulder hurts. God said unto Noah, the end of all flesh hath come. The earth is filled with violence by them, and behold, by the earth I shall destroy them. He is watching over us. I think he has come and taken his chosen. Oh, God. In, the, in, in the book of Revelations, he, he, he talks about three and a half days. And then the, 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 the men of sin are revealed, and, and seven years of tribulations occurs. And the, the, the time he, is all wrong. Between killing starting and now, it's it's it's, it's too long. It's the Bible. It's, it's very specific. <laughs> We've been forgotten. We've been left behind and damned to hell. The people who died in the first attack were the lucky ones. Why would you say something like that? Because they were the chosen few. The ordained, the, the favorites. The rest of us have been discarded. Please. I'm hungry. I'm 
I'm so hungry. When you ate all the food. I told you to conserve it. We might have to stay here for a while, or at least until we can get out of here unseen. To have been left behind by the father is far worse than what these beasts can do to our feeble bodies. That box spoiled as well. Yeah. We only have three good ones. I'm afraid we're gonna have to conserve. Why? What's the point? We can't eat moldy food, Victor. Well, is that gonna kill me as well? George, I have bigger things to worry about. I don't know if you've seen what's outside there. Mycotoxins can infect our immune systems. Wait a second. I'm tired. Maybe we've been going about this all wrong. You're tired too. No, no, how, how do you stop a flu? Asper. You inject a stronger, deadlier virus into your system. Victor, we have rabies vaccines right here. You're gonna give these beasts rabies? No, I'm gonna inject toxins that can spread a deadly, a deadly disease through their system. We're gonna give them a virus. Yes, nothing's worked. The missiles, the bombs, guns, nothing. But this is life fighting life. Victor, this has a chance. Right. How about I go out there and call them in now? I didn't say it was a perfect plan. Do you have a better idea? I need some sleep. Shut up. I believed in lies and fiction. I'm dead. 
My entire life has been lies. A fraud, a joke. <laughs> Put the bottle down and just shut up for a second. I believe in nothing. Just me. And you. You're my only friend. I have a confession to make, George. I lied to you. I didn't take us closer to DC. I us up a garden path, so to speak, towards the Blue Ridge Mountains, where the people are hiding in the caves. I didn't want you to see any more of the horrors. I don't believe in anything anymore. Just me. God, he... He never existed. been with us all the time. He's been looking and protecting us.
Space guy. Alive? Yeah, come here. Come on under, under the cover. Come here. I got you. 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 Hey. That's some water. That's it. That's it. Easy, 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 easy. Gary. Oh. <laughs> you look like shit, man. I was trapped in a house for a few days. Yeah? Yeah. In a house? I was stuck in a sewer. I just survived. U.S. Army, baby. Did you find your family? Not yet. Oh, man. Look. You gotta come with us. I'm with, I'm with this battalion now in the Blue Ridge Mountains. There's hundreds of us there, hundreds more coming. I can't go there, Gary. Oh man, DC's gone. It's gone, there's nothing left. It's just us now. Today, we hide. Tomorrow, we rebuild. Tomorrow. Today, tomorrow, next year, 10 years, we start an army. Us, for those of us that are brave enough to fight. There's nothing there, man. My family. There's nothing there. Listen to me. There's nothing there. I have to find my family. So you can bury them. God damn it. Assault on one of my officers is punishable by death in my new world. It's okay, sir. It's okay. I fell. Remember George here, sir? He's the astronomer. His brother was the ranger. Rangers are pussies. I haven't seen one of those assholes in over a week. Is your brother dead yet? Huh? I asked you a question. He was wasted, sir. I saw it happen. I knew it. I should have known it. I knew it. I knew before I even left the service that they did not understand structure. They did not understand discipline. 
Do you understand structure and discipline, George? Huh? Huh? Shit, shit, huh? I see weakness in you, George. Am I right? I don't think you understand how grave this situation is. We need a new army with a new vision, with minds like yours. General Samuelson is leading the Eastern Resistance. You need to come with us. Stand down, soldier. This is my new recruit. Last time I saw you, you were a lieutenant. Yeah, I gave myself a promotion. Now you're coming with us, so follow him. I'm a fair man, George. So, I'm gonna give you a choice that I never had when I was a new recruit. You can come with us, or you can die, okay? No trial, no time in jail, no doctors. You can keep your rank. It's your choice. I mean, I, I can't help you. I'm not a fighter. I'm, I'm just a scientist. Tell him. Sir, please, a, a word, sir. He's not working. You are even more stupid than I thought. It's the scientists that will win this war. It's the scientists that have won every war. He is exactly what we need. You will die. I will probably die. Why? to buy his brain more time to beat these fuckers. You and I are just worthless. In fact, compared to his knowledge and intellect, you are so worthless. Uh, you know, I might as well, you know, I think, I might as well just do this. You took away my family. You took away my God. You took away my life. There's nothing left. Kill me. Kill me!
You look like you could use a drink, friend. What's happening to you? We got this man some water. They're sick. They've been dying for two days now. Some are paralyzed. They're frozen in place. They're dying. Maybe it's the air. Or a virus. But the point is, is that it's over. What about children? Are there any kids? I'm looking for my son. There are a lot of children here. A lot of children. Daddy! Daddy! Oh, Daddy! 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 George! Daddy! George! George! Oh, oh my God. Thousands of astronomers searched the heavens for a sign of extraterrestrial life, but we never knew what hit us. The initial attack was worldwide and devastating. While we surfed the internet and waited in line for our soy lattes, they needed only one thing to survive. Our blood. But as they harvested, there was something they hadn't planned on. We fought back. All the world's armies, all the Earth's inhabitants, right down to the smallest microbe, joined together to drive them back where they'd come from. And then it was over. We were left to rebuild. But for some, the nightmare had just begun.
Dad, nothing. I gotta hear the bass at all times. You know the rules. Same old talk. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah is right, but you got the batteries halfway full. Good job. Hey, Dad, do you have to work tonight? Oh, I gotta work tonight. I gotta work tomorrow night. I gotta work every night, son. You know that. Happy birthday, Dad. What? I've been marking off the days, and today's the seventh, so happy birthday. Scrounging. Scrounging? What'd I tell you about scrounging? I don't want you leaving the property without me. How am I supposed to surprise you if you're always there? Nothing's gonna happen well, to nothing's me. Nothing's gonna happen to you. How do you know The that? only thing that I'm in danger of is getting bored to death. Alex. Thank you for remembering my birthday. You have to understand that you're the only thing I have left. I know. I'm gonna go make some dinner. Okay. Happy birthday, Dad. Thank you. Morning, Dad. I thought I'd make breakfast, pan beans again, but we can pretend they're pancakes. Alex, get off the bike and get the safety. Some chips? Stale. Got your soda you've been saving. Stale chips and a warm soda. It sounds like you're ready for a party. I could go with you. We already talked about that. I don't know what's out there. Okay, I want you to wait here for me. It's dark in here and it's freezing. You just keep your coat on. You keep your two matches, okay? Don't let that candle go out. Set the alarm for eight hours, and I'll be back before that thing goes off, I promise you. <laughs> You're a good man.
16. George. How are you, Nate? Good to see you. George, have you met Victoria? Victoria Reed. Nice to meet you. Vicky worked for NASA when there was a NASA. She was next in line for a shuttle mission when the invasion happened. She's been helping us decode the walker language. How's that? After the first invasion, we captured one of their squid walkers. We've been deciphering it ever since. We've been able to apply substitution ciphers and have a good sense of things, but what we're missing is the key. Well, you better start working fast. Why's that? I think the walkers are back. We have CME outbursts here, here, and here. But the interesting thing is this displacement of matter just outside of Earth's magnetic pole. When did your data show this? About four days ago. What are you saying? A vortex is emerging? A shift in matter. The Schwarzschild effect. Possibly. What's that? It's a traversable hole that collapses both time and space. It's a theory. Well, so is extraterrestrial alive, but... We did a lot of simulated tests before the shuttle went up. None of them included a wormhole. What does it do? Basically, it gets you from point A to point B in imperceptible time jumps. So you can get from, say, here to Mars in... A nanosecond. Exactly. Which would explain why we never saw the first invasion coming. Exactly. The night of the invasion, NASA had nothing. No readings, no indication until it already happened. And I confirmed my speculation when I registered Gaussian noise on my radio what system. What was your DC component? Batteries. Then you're making a big assumption. Well, that's why I'm here. You guys have the equipment, I don't. We could mask the sound and isolate the frequencies. Victoria, why don't you check that out? Sure. If there's an intelligent pattern, I'll find it. Victoria seems to know what she's talking about. George. You should be working here, with us. Move into the compound, you and Alex. You'll be safer here. We have other kids. We even have a school. Think about it. We could use you. Come here, I want to show you something. This is Selma Ritter. The walkers died in the first invasion through a virus. We've been experimenting with different types, creating a concoction of sorts. Does she know? She created it. She used to work for us. The virus is the key. We're pretty sure that's what'll take them out. Follow me. This is what's left of our front line of defense, the fleet. They look like F-22s. Augmented with their technology. How's that possible? Victoria created a diagrammatic cipher that's allowed us to, well, steal from the Squidwalker technology. We've been retrofitting these fighters to handle space flight amongst other things. It's their current altitude range. Well, that's the big issue. We know that these fighters can reach the edge of the mesosphere, but we can't be sure about them breaking through into the exosphere. You need to remap the cipher. Right. And the answer lies within the Squidwalker. We know that there's a field that protects them when they do break through into the exosphere. There's one more thing I need to show you. So that thing's... Yeah, it's dead. Dead? It was alive? We believe so. The ship was a life force? Cyberbiotics. It's unlike anything we've ever seen. We've been stealing more of their technology from this ship. She's sure it's dead. God, I hope so. Victoria's in there. Come on, let's go save her. I believe this is a holding cell of sorts. When the invasion first occurred, we had eyewitnesses that said that people were being taken into the belly of the ship. What happened after that? Well... Gentlemen, I want you to see this. Well, where are we now? This is the control center, like a cockpit. No windows, no fixed geometry? Correct. Except, I noticed this extension leading to a vortex generator. Or oh, so I thought. What we're really looking at is a UHF frequency modulator. Well, comparatively speaking. Well, like a transmitter? Right. 
It communicates from the mothership to these walkers using our satellites as beacons. I've known for a while now that the walkers transmit using a complex orthogonal string of numbers, but up until now, my team hasn't been able to translate a thing. However, once I fed in the algorithms from your radio frequency, Mr. Herbert, I discovered a cipher. Watch this. I'll be damned. Look what the cat drug in. Hello, sir. George, good to see you. How's Felicity? Uh, sorry, George. Alex? Oh, he's... he's well. He's growing like a weed. That's great. I met George here after the invasion. We bunked for a short while at Blackwater. Hell of a family. I'm glad to hear Alex is okay. Thank you, sir. We think we found the key. I've calculated the trajectory patterns. I believe I've located the source for the next attack. There is a possible entry for an Einstein Rosen bridge. A time jump? This is a printout from my telescope. It represents about 400 square miles. This was last week. Take a look at this. This is four days ago. Now this here, is it a sunspot or a solar flare? That I believe is a mothership. Thus the time jump. What about these tiny dots? He's suggesting that they are smaller ships coming from the parent. You got any way of checking this out? We've been working on repairing our satellite connection to the Hubble Space Telescope. Still seems to be functioning up there. We could point it in this direction, see if we can find anything. Let's do that. I've got a gut feeling about this. George, why don't you stay here on ground and help us coordinate our efforts with Dr. Gorman? I'd like to, but I have to get home to Alex. Bring him on base. In the meantime, I want you to get that telescope up and running. Vicky, get my ships fueled and ready ASAP. Excuse me. I need some fuel. Okay, thanks. I'm just here for the gas. In fact, I ran out just a few miles back. You guys are saving me right now. 
What you got? A uh, couple weeks worth of food coupons. Four coupons? Three gallons. Three gallons? That's gotta be worth at least ten gallons. Ten? Ten gallons? <laughs> look, okay, look. You wanna throw in your watch? I'll make it four gallons. I, I don't have anything. I guess today ain't your lucky day. Give him three gallons. <laughs> Rick and Rob. Have a nice day. your fucking job you can't just take my wife and my kid and my life and leave me here I set my watch can I set the alarm for eight hours and I'll be back before that thing goes off I promise you nothing's gonna happen to me I'm so sorry Alan Said that people were being taken into the belly of the ship. What happened after that?
that sucker down. Thanks for trying. I thought you got away. Naughty. It got me anyway. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or without hope because of them. For the Lord, your God, goes with you. Leave you or forsake you. This is bullshit. I've been in one of these before. Good, man. Show me the exit and we can get out of here. I don't think it's quite that simple. We, we couldn't have gone far, right? I mean, I mean, we're still on Earth, right? Shh. as fast as you can, but we need to work on a plan B. There is no plan B. The plan is to go after the parent ship. You can't get those birds over 150 kilometers, and you know it. We, you'd have to get at least 600 kilometers before you even get a whiff of this thing. I can if she'll work faster. Stingray. <sighs> Sir. Talk to me. We're getting our bearings, but we'll make it. We've loaded nerve pulmonary and vesican agents on the MC-1. Some even have mustard gas. How many of these are already loaded? Each ship has five. Viruses? Yeah. Stingray, I'll meet you down there shortly. Yes, sir. We should probably figure out a ground assault. We should probably tell her to work faster. in the codex. The fighter should be up in a minute. Let's hope George's coordinates work. Do you see anything? Are the ships moving? Okay, hold steady. They're up, they're up. Was 
that? Sonic boom, sir. From what? From them. They've entered our atmosphere. Major, tell Vicky we need this fleet in the air ASAP. If these bandits find us still on the ground, they could decimate every ship before we even She's airport. on it, but it may be too late. Why? What happened? We're getting MCOT in. Reports are coming in from everywhere, worldwide. The attack has begun. Begin and launch sequence. Okay, listen up. This is Alpha. We're gonna make a run at the mothership. It's sitting right outside our atmosphere. We believe if we can get to the mother, the rest will fall. For most of us, this is gonna be a one-way ticket. But it's not always the biggest dog that wins the fight. Fortune favors the bold. So let's put a rock in our sling and go get these bastards. Good luck, man. Vicky, you ready?
Wait, I think I have something. No, try out. Reforce, where are we? They're at 20 kilometers. You've got 80 clicks before the fleet reaches the Mesosphere. Has Victoria got the key to work yet? Not yet, Alpha. Our ships need that protection to break through the Mesosphere or we'll all disintegrate. Keep working on the key. They have to break out of the atmosphere. Satellites are picking up at least two dozen of their incoming ships. Sir, permission to fire. Alpha, no firing. Save your weapons for the mothership. This is Alpha. Listen up. Do not engage. I repeat, do not engage. <laughs> before they hit 100 kilometers. Kramer said 40 and climbing. 20 minutes. Stay down for another 20 minutes. I can't give you 20 minutes. My men are tying me in this bus to the ground. We have to go now. I'm coming back around. Stingray, stay on target. Stingray, we're too close now. Focus. Mesosphere. We have to go now. They broke the thermosphere. They're at 95 kilometers. I don't have it. Kramer, aboard. We don't have it. Repeat, I did not for you. I don't have it. We're going to the racket. Vicky, we're going to burn up. 97. Get out of there. Go back. You won't make the jump. Go back. Got it. Did it work? 
Did they make it through? Again, base. The mothership. Do you see the mothership? Affirmative base. We have visual. This is big. This is Alpha. Prepare to attack the mothership. What is that? That light, it's getting bigger. Face, do you see this? A uh, deep brain is opening. Deep brain? It's, it's an open string, look. There's a, a tachyon particle mass erupting. Spreading. Sir, it's a time hole. negative 483 X at 59 65 degrees what's that that is why boys just time jumped my god to where my guess is to wherever the mothership just went Sucking motherfucking ship. That didn't feel right. Where you going? To find that girl that saved us. She did that, she can find that ship again. Oh, good thinking. Now that we're out, it makes perfect sense for us to go back to that nightmare. Why don't you just go your own way? I don't want to waste your time, all right? What are you breaking up with me? I'm just saying, it's my fight. Your fight? Your fight? Really? Because last I looked, these tripods had wiped out most of my people in the 23rd. Hell, last time this happened, my girl got zapped. You think I don't miss holding my girl's hand? Talking to my brother? Talking to my mom? Your fight? Please. Dude, this isn't just about you and finding your son. It's got to be bigger than that. For me, it's only about finding my kid. I know this. I seen this, man. You got post-traumatic syndrome. You need to start dealing with reality, man. My bad, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, man, wait up. Wait up, homie. <laughs> Come on, man. I'm sorry, man, I'm sorry. I probably got that stress syndrome with damn self. Earth 
space to Major Kramer in the command ship. Come in, please. Nothing. Son of a bitch. Oh shit, look at this. Ha! Ah, we gonna be riding in style. Air conditioning? Maybe we can find something out on the radio. We have keys. Dead battery. More than one way to skin this cat. No engine. This is Alpha. Anybody read me? This is Alpha. Is anybody out there? Alpha. Oh, Stingray. Thank God. Alpha. This is Squid Killer. What the hell was that? We just time jumped. I thought that shit was made up. Sir, is that Mars? Affirmative. Let me get a status report. Fuel cells are 25% functional, sir. Okay. I want all ships to maintain their current position. I'm gonna move in and see what we're up against. Roger that, Alpha. Shit pumped me full of crap. I don't feel so good, man. Wait, wait, wait! Man, I need to get some water. I'm dying of thirst. This isn't gonna work. What? We need a plan. I. We've got to try to get up on a rooftop or something. Scan the area. See, see where we are. Look, you stay here, okay? I'll be back in a minute. All right. That's a good idea. I'll stay here. Cause I'm tired. You're all coming back, ain't you? That ship might have just sucked everybody up, George. It might just be me and you. Hey, I'm tired. I'm looking for somebody. I'm looking for a 10-year-old little boy. His name's Alex. I know Alex. You, you do? He's daddy. He... What? He, he was my brother. He, he died with my daddy. He's in heaven now. I'm so sorry.
Oh, good, you're alive, you're alive. Okay, hey, one, hey, hey, hey. two is better than one. Two, we'll get two. Damn, I see you found her. Actually, she found me. No, we have to go, we have to go. What's the word? Screw her. Rare! Oh, oh my God, George. George, George, it's a very strong name. You'll help us. Us? Come on, we have to go. You see that on her face? Is that contagious? How long is this fool gonna have us out here waiting? Only two. There were more. Some got lost and some didn't follow, and I'm sorry, I did the best I could. You did I... good. You did good, sissy. You did good. But only <laughs> two. We can double our numbers. You're very brave. Let me see them. George, this is Pete. Shackelford. Are there any others? Used to be. Now it's just Sissy and I. Walkers? You must be thirsty. The filtering process can leave a bad taste in your mouth. Yeah, you ain't kidding. How about something with a little kick? <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. Filtering process? The squids know after the first invasion that the, the microbes in our blood are lethal to them. But the blood itself is crucial to their survival. The answer is to homogenize the blood. They've been experimenting since the first invasion on the best way to do that. Most of the captured are drained and the blood stored until the process can be perfected. Others are, uh, kept alive, experimented on. Others? Children. Children. Oh, damn. Not half bad. Takes some getting used to. It's synthetic. Moonshine? Kind of. We, we make everything around here. Why is that? No resources. Hard to get things when you're stuck on Mars. Anybody else getting a freak show out there? Roger that. Oh, Stingray to Alpha. Something's pulling me. Yeah, roger that, Stingray. Me too. What the hell's going on? Looks like we're just gonna take this war to them. Rover sending pictures back at this place. Yeah, whatever disease you two have is messing with your thinking. Technically, you're still on the ship. But the ship itself is on Mars. I call this place the Petri dish. The squids built it to recreate the viruses. So what? It's like a hamster cage. Exactly. We just refuse to run on the wheel. <laughs> Y'all are crazy. So, we're definitely not on Earth. I haven't been on Earth in two years. <laughs> two years? They captured us during the first invasion. 
I assume there were others. I... I slipped through the cracks. Sissy here was there. I guessed for quite a while. <laughs> Hey, are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? All right, let's just lay low. Something tells me we're only gonna get one chance at this. On your mark, sir. <clears throat> Kills the pain. It's killing your brain cells. I understand it's difficult to wrap your mind around, but... Sissy can show you. No! No, I don't want to go back! Unpleasant memories. Case, do you? I gotta go find out. Man, this is crazy. What else do I have to go on? <laughs> this place is as real as I am. Recreated environment, petri dish. Please. <sighs> In there. Find the emergency exit. No one ever tries the emergency exit. Be careful. Ahead, G. I got your back. This is Earth Base to Major Kramer in the command ship. Please come in. We have no fleet left. No army. No militia. That's right. Want to get drunk? Okay, guys. Hang on. We're entering the Martian atmosphere. Through. Affirmative. This is Squid Killer. Roger that. We're all. 
call here. Okay, guys. Eagle for me. Miles of tunnel. They'd catch you before you even got close. <laughs> I could show you once myself, but... <laughs> What's wrong with you anyway? During the time that Sissy spent being their lab rat, she was like a superstar. Anything they threw at her, she, she survived mix of various bugs created a kind of super flu. How come it's not killing her? It is. Just slowly. So you caught it from her? Not exactly. I... They attacked before I could distribute it. I infected myself, but it was too late. So that's why Sissy went back on the ship. That's why we're here now. Get it. You're part of the resistance. Resistance? You, me, this half dead guy in the psycho chip? <laughs> Look, all I care about is getting my kid back. Your son. Your son is just a tiny little piece of the puzzle, George. The question is how far are you really willing to go? to save him. What are you planning to do with that? Martian Armageddon. With this in your system, when the squids take you onto their ship, your blood will contaminate the whole supply. With all the blood tainted, they won't survive long. That'll kill the ship. Eventually. To bring it down fast would take a direct hit to the heart of the system. Even I don't know where that is. <coughs> Sorry. No thanks. <coughs> I do know where your son is, though, George. I know. You can set him free. Hold him again. It's a one-way street. You take it, and I'll have Sissy show you right where he's at. <coughs> There's a better way. This dude's dying, man. I can't do this. Oh. 
だ Tell me where my kid is, Shackelford. Tell me where my kid is. Okay? We gonna figure this out, man. Stay with me. He knew where my kid was. He knew he was alive. And we'll find him. We're gonna find him. That was one of ours. Let's get Alex. <coughs> the fighters could be our ticket home, George. Yeah, if we find them. Let's... Let's just find that door. We find that door, we find my kid. That girl would know. All we gotta do is find that psycho chick. <laughs> She's long gone. How'd you know? We could find her, man. I'm trying to tell you, man. Finding psycho bitches is my special. <laughs> We gotta get out of here, now! That's my ticket in. No! 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 No!
little star. Get this bird out of here. Is there anybody else? Man, that's a gang of people back there. Okay, fire up your ship and gather up as many people as you can. We're taking off now. Let's go, guys. Let's get your dad out of here. I think I got 
got something. Victoria, we need the time jump coordinates. Victoria, come in. Goldman. Need the coordinates of the time jump. Do you hear me? They need the coordinates of the time jump. There. They're over there. Uh, Z at 300. Y at negative 43. X at 59. 65 degrees. So where'd you learn to cook like that? <laughs> One of the benefits of spending time on KP. <laughs> Disciplinary action? Oh, I'm afraid so, sir. Well, it certainly worked to our benefit today. That was excellent. Thank you. Thank you. You finished, Alex? Excused. Sure. This whole thing's been hard on him. I mean, he's just a little boy. Yeah. I know. How you doing, buddy? Good. I know you got a lot on your mind. I just want you to know, Alex, that we're all friends here. If you have anything at all you want to talk about, you just let us know. Okay. This world's become a place where boys like you and I have to grow up fast. I'm really proud of the way you're handling things, Alex. I miss my dad. Yeah, I miss him too. Little man. I'll be damned. Dad, you're here! Oh, God, easy slug. He's held together with bubble gum and scotch tape, Alex. I'll take care of him. Count on that, son. Major. George. Damn good to see you. <laughs> Pete! <laughs> My man! Welcome back. <laughs> good to see you, Vicky. What you got there, my man? My dad gave us me. <laughs> Come on. Looks like you guys have been eating well. Oh, yeah. Go on, get you some. <laughs> Hi, Coleman. How is it? It was touch and go for a while, but the infection's gone. Good. I think being back here is the best medicine. Ha, ha, ha.